Hi everyone. Well, I'm just going to uh, do a little video today on the uh, normal hydraulic pressures on the uh, Kubota tractor. I know there's quite a few questions that people have about what should the uh, um, readings be on a uh, hydraulic uh, gauge um, in order to determine if the uh, tractor is uh, running within the parameters um, and specifications. So first of all, here's how the uh, before I start this, just to show you how I set it up, the uh, hydraulic gauge is hooked to the uh, the first um, one of the uh, disconnects, quick disconnects, which uh, happens to be uh, uh, bucket down, and uh, that's uh, how we're going to do it. You can see that we have it remoted and close to the uh, uh, RPM gauge. So, okay, I'm going to get up on the tractor, get it started, and we'll start the uh, second part of this. Okay, here we go with the second part. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, first give a reading at around 1300 RPMs. This is 13, 1325, which is the idle speed. And you're looking at probably close to about... Uh, 1,300 pounds. Try that again. That time a little bit more, around 15. Try one more time. About 1,600. We let the pressure off again. We'll try it again. And again. So you see it's kind of loads the pump down at low RPM, uh, not getting a very uh, accurate reading. Let's bring it up to about, uh, uh, we're going to bring it up to about 2,000 RPMs. And now we're getting to about, uh, it's got to be about 1,800 right there. About 1800. Let me drop it all the way off, bleed it out, and try it again. Right around about 1800. Let's go to 2500 RPMs. Bleed it out. Bring it up. I'd say that's close to about 1,900. About 1,900. Let's take it up to 3,000. About 1,900. Okay, and as you've seen, uh, really, once you get past about 2,000 RPMs, there isn't a dramatic difference um, in the uh, amount of pressure or, or the maximum pressure. But what you are seeing um, is the uh, pressure uh, actually goes uh, up faster um, or more rapidly uh, with the higher RPMs. Um, and, and I believe the way the pump is set up on this is that um, at the higher RPMs, uh, it, of course you see this with the higher RPMs that the bucket does uh, in fact go up faster. Um, but as we've seen, it really doesn't change the uh, amount of, uh, uh, of energy or uh, hydraulic um, uh, power or pressure uh, doesn't really increase. So there you have it. Just want to let you know if you're working on your BX and if you think something's a little flaky, this one's running great, normal, um, but it does have the modified um, um, relief valve, so it's about 175 to 200 pounds different uh, than what you would get for maximum pressure. doesn't change anything on how fast uh, it runs up or anything else, only the maximum pressure. So it's about 175, 200 pound difference 
than when I originally got it uh, and measured uh, before doing the modification. Before doing the modification, it was up about 1650, and then I took it to about uh, 1950. So, and there was a dramatic change uh, in the uh, uh, lifting potential that the uh, uh, tractor has. Okay, talk to you again.